Hi, welcome to this yoga session where we'll work with Ajna Chakra. Ajna Chakra is the third eye chakra connected to the cosmic intelligence with your wisdom, connected with your intuition. Uh, so it's a great chakra when you want to have um, answers in your life because all the answers are lying inside of us but we have to have access and feel connected with our inner wisdom for that. So we'll work with that today. I invite you to come into child pose at the back of your mat. Simply the forehead on the ground, connecting us here with that Ajna Chakra space. Feeling nourished with the energy of the earth directly into the third eye center. And we'll just move the head side to side to massage the forehead on the ground. Excellent. Come to the center. We'll open the right arm toward the sky and exhale, bring the arm through the left and bring the temple or the forehead on the ground. And just breathe into this easy torsion, easy twist. So with the third eye practices, we want to unlock energies from the spine. So we'll begin with a so we begin with a little a spinal twist here. And now come back, arms in front, forehead on the ground. We'll open the left arm up and exhale, bring the left arm through and the forehead or temple on the ground. Two more breaths here. Now come back in front and we'll come into table position and we'll use our eagle vision to imagine big circles made with the back here. Inhale toward the front and exhale back. Exhale back. To the other side. In the front, exhale back. And come back to the center. Exhale into child pose. In now come into upward dog. Raise the knees. Open face toward the sky, exhale, knee down, into child pose, inhale, raise into upper leg, open the chest and the face, exhale, knee down, tailbone toward the heels, one last time, inhale, upper leg, and exhale, downward dog. walked a bit 
here, heel toward the ground, one heel toward the ground at a time. And come into your downward dog. Inhale, raise the right leg up. And exhale, bring the feet, the foot between the hands. Exhale, the back heel grounded to the floor. Inhale, raise the arms up into warrior one. Focus at the third eye center, lifting the base toward the third eye center. Perineum in and up toward the third eye center. Two, three more breaths here. Exhale, bring the thumbs on the third eye. Two, three more breaths. Exhale, open the arms, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open the heart toward the sky. Exhale, bring the shoulder inside the knee or toward the knee. And release the head. Release any tension from the head area. One more breath. And inhale, raise the torso up. Exhale, release the arms, come into lunge. Exhale, bring the hands under the shoulder. Plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Release the head. Inhale, raise the left leg now. Exhale, bring the foot between the hands. Ground the back heel, toes toward the front. Keep the hips down. Inhale, raise the arms up. Perineum toward the third eye. Interlace the fingers, raise the heart up, exhale, bring the shoulder inside the knee, release the head, release any tension and anxiety from the head area to wider ground. Two more breaths. Inhalation, raise your body up. Exhale, release the hands, pop the heel back. And exhale, bring the hands under the shoulder for plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Release the head the side of the neck. Look in front, bend the knees, you can walk or jump between the hands. Inhale, raise the spine halfway and exhale, release the head, grab the elbows and relax here for a few breaths. I see this posture like a half inversion. So if we're not very um, used to halasana, the plow, or candle pose, or any inversion, this is already a little inversion you can do.
Release any expression of the face. Let gravity do the work. One or two more breaths. Exhale, bend the knee, release the hands. And unroll the spine here. Slowly come into Tadasana, standing pose. Look straight in front of you. And you can come out of your mat for Garudasana, the eagle pose. So in this posture, we'll work on with our balance. So this is tapping also into our um, wisdom, our core muscle, our core wisdom. So plant the right foot deep into the ground. Open the, the other leg. Open the arm sideways. And next, exhale, bring the right arm under the left. Cross one or two times, as well as the leg over the other leg. Bring the perineum toward the third eye here. Bringing the lower belly toward the lower back and squeezing up and in toward the third eye center. Breathe into the posture. Three more breaths. Inhale, open. Exhale, release. Bring the foot under the hip and close your eyes. Release the shoulder far from the ears. Note the effect of the posture at the third eye center. Keeping your attention at that level is nourishing the third eye center, the vision center. Perfect. And we'll open the other leg, planting the left leg deep into the ground. And next, exhale, we'll bring the left arm under the right this time, crossing, interlacing the arms and legs one or two times. Lower belly toward the spine. Squeeze up and in toward the level at, of the third eye. Two, three more breaths. And inhale, open, release, and just close your eyes into Tadasana. Note the effect of the posture, maybe a feeling of its expansion at the level of the third eye center. Maybe a feeling of expansion at the level of Ajna, the third eye center. Perfect. We will raise both arms up. Exhale. Bring the arms at your side, shoulder level, fingers toward the sky. Inhale. Look on, to on top of your right fingertips. Exhale. Look front. Inhale. Look on top of your left fingertips. Exhale. Look in front. Inhale, right fingertips, exhale, straight in front of you. Inhale, left, and exhale, straight in front of you. And release the arms, few shoulder rolls. And come at the front of your mat. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bend at the hips. You can bend the knees here to keep a long spine. Release the head toward the ground. 
and we'll just bend one knee at a time here and bend the left plant the left hand down in a raise the right arm up breathe into the back into the spine exhale release and we'll do the other side bend the right in a raise the left arm one more breath and exhale release the hand and we'll come into the toes and bring the buttocks on the heels here we'll bring the elbows on the knees and the jaw on the fingertips. Now look a bit upward, straight in front of you, bringing the perineum toward the third eye center. And great exhale, bring the hands at the back, center of your mat, inhale, grab a ball in front of you, and exhale, bring the back onto the mat. Here okay, we'll come into Halasana, inhale, raise the leg up, exhale. Bring the pelvis toward the sky. Here you can support the back with the, the hands and just stay here if you wish. Still feeling the sublimation of the lower chakra toward the third eye. As all inversion helps subliming the energies of the lower chakra toward the upper chakras. And here, <laughs> I don't have a footing, <laughs> but it's a bit like if I do. And here we'll just focus at the level of the third eye center. Open the hands. If you can release the back, open the hands. And here I've been taught that the cosmic energy enter the hands and arms and focus at the third eye center and the telluric energy the energy of the earth enter the feet and legs to focus at the level of the third eye and exhale you can support the back or if you have a strong core, you can lower yourself slowly onto the ground with control. And your leg come down with control to the ground. Good job. And just here, relax the legs and arms by your side. We'll do a short Shavasana to integrate and infuse the practice into our being. The legs are totally relaxed. The hips and buttocks are relaxed. The spine is melting into the ground. The shoulders and arms are relaxed. The hands are completely relaxed. The face lose all expression. The eyes are dropping into their sockets. 
The forehead is relaxed and open. The brain is completely relaxed. The whole body is completely relaxed and melting into the ground. Deepen your breath. Inhale into wisdom. And exhale wisdom into the world. Inhale lucidity. Exhale lucidity into the world. And you can stretch a little. Come onto your side. Come back to your center. And push the ground with your hands to come into a sitting position with a long back. Inhale, raise the arms up, join the palms together. Exhale, bring the thumbs at your third eye level. Welcoming intuition and cosmic intelligence into your being. And bring your hands in front of your heart. Bow to yourself. Thank yourself for taking the time to connect, to yoke your spirit, your mind and your body. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel to support free yoga on the internet. I bring you a new video every Friday, so if you want to get a notification, just press the bell button. Thank you so much.